When you think of tropical places filled with lush greens and exotic animals, cockatoos often come to people's mind. Cockatoos are indeed beautiful pets, but they do need a lot of care to keep them healthy and happy. Do your homework before deciding to take one of these birds into your life for the rest of your life. A cockatoo can live 50 years or more. These birds need to be properly socialized so they don't develop behavioral problems. Although all cockatoos sold as pets are born in the United States, they're all native to Australia and Indonesia. As you see, they come in a range of colors, whites, pinks, and grays. Like their cousins, the cockatiels, cockatoos all have erectile crests on the heads that they can raise or lower according to their moods. Some of the crests are recurved, like the one on the sulfur-crested cockatoo, and some of them are recumbent, like the crest on this umbrella cockatoo. Recumbent means that the crest curves backward, and then the other guys have a recurved crest that when the crest is lowered, it curves back forward. They also have powder downs under the wings that protect their feathers with a chalky substance. Now, this powder is what makes their feathers so soft and cuddly. It can also wreak havoc with people with asthma. They have short tails, unlike Harry's long tail there, and very, very long wings and very, very expressive faces, and they're great acrobats. We have most of the varieties here that you'll see in most any pet shop in the United States. We have... The smallest ones here are the little Goffins cockatoo. These guys are native to the Tanabar Island chain in Indonesia. They're very reasonable in price and they make very, very nice pets. So for just starting off, I would definitely recommend a little Goffin cockatoo like this guy here. Along the lines of other small cockatoos, we have the little rose-breasted cockatoos. These are from Australia. And in Australia, they call them galahs. They're also small and not quite as noisy as some of the other cockatoos, and I highly recommend these guys too. Look at that beautiful crest he has. It's like a, a camellia flower up there. Another beautiful Australian cockatoo is the Major Mitchell cockatoo. It's small, they're not too noisy, and again, they make very, very nice pets. However, they are a bit pricey for most people. Now, the sulfur-crested cockatoos come in three sizes. We've got the little lesser sulfur-crested cockatoos. They're not much bigger than the Goffin cockatoos here. The lesser sulfur-crested cockatoos come from all over Indonesia. This particular subspecies is native to the Timor Islands. The next step up is the Eleonora cockatoo. Now, the Eleonora cockatoo comes from the Arrow Island chain. And they make great pets. They're very, very acrobatic. And then the next step up from that would be the big Triton cockatoos. Now, the Triton cockatoos come from New Guinea. And they're about twice as large as the Eleonoras. And you notice they have a bright blue eye ring around the eyes, and they have the big yellow crest. Now, along the subspecies of these guys is the little citron-crested cockatoo, woo with that bright orange crest. These guys come from Sumba Island, and they're a mid-sized bird and make nice pets also. But probably the most common cockatoo you'll see offered for sale are the umbrella cockatoos. These are my particular favorites. They have a big white crest, and when the crest is raised, it looks very much like an umbrella. They're native to the Solomon Islands in Indonesia, and they're very steady, very reliable birds. Now, it is fun to get a baby cockatoo, but there are often many older cockatoos that are available through parrot adoption agencies. Now, these older homeless birds can often be relatively easily and effectively re-socialized. That's the nice thing about cockatoos. Cockatoos must never feel that their world revolves around you. Otherwise, they'll become addicted to human attention. Then... When your lifestyle changes, maybe five or ten years down the road, and you have to cut back on the attention, they will literally go insane. And they develop self-mutilating behaviors. If a bird can learn to entertain itself and not always be dependent on you to keep it happy, it will never feel alone. Now, cockatoos are big, strong, and active, and they need big, strong cages. If a cage looks big enough, get the next size cage. And it has to be strong enough to withstand their beaks. They're escape artists. So be sure you get the cage that has a secure lock. Provide the bird with a concrete perch in the cage or a sandy, sandy perch like this to keep its nails in good shape. And you're going to have to try and get a cover big enough to cover the whole cage at night because cockatoos do need 10 to 12 hours worth of sleep every night. Now, cockatoos in captivity have a tendency to get too fat. And pet cockatoos need to have the diet closely monitored. I give... My birds, a diet of one-third pellets, one-third of a seed mix that has very, very little or no sunflower seeds, and one-third assorted fruits and vegetables.
You should try and get a large variety of fruits and vegetables. Stay away from avocados. You also need a vitamin supplement. I like to get a powdered vitamin and sprinkle that all over the bird's fruits and vegetables so that it sticks to it. Now remember, these guys all come from the rainforest. You have to mist the bird with warm water from a plant mister every single day. That's very, very important. Now, in order to keep your cockatoo amused during the day while you're at work, it's important that we have a large variety of bird toys. There's different shapes, textures. Little ducky here is cute. There's toys that are totally indestructible, made of metal, that keeps the birds busy. There's toys that are puzzles. There's toys that are easily chewed up. Birds, particularly cockatoos, need to chew on wood and destroy things. It's part of their nature. And toys do not have to be expensive and store-bought. Baby toys are great for cockatoos to play with. I can't emphasize that enough, that a cockatoo is a big responsibility and you have to care for its mental needs as well as its physical ones. Before you even think about getting a cockatoo, please take advantage of the wealth of information that's now available to bird owners. There's a ton of information on the internet. You can try www.petbirdreport.com. There's all sorts of information out there on the internet that can help you become a better pet owner and your cockatoo become a better pet.